All right, guys, it is time for Lunch with the Chief, where your questions are being answered by Beaumont Police Chief Jim Singletary and Sergeant Cody Gidry. Fellas, thanks so much for joining us. Thank Glad you. To be here. Ready to jump right in? Absolutely. Let's roll. Number one, how much trouble would I get into for crossing barriers that are set up on a road? So, for example, the ones on Highway 69 and I-10, would I get a ticket? Well, let's uh, start off that yes, you would. Uh, <laughs> Transportation Code says that uh, obeying uh, uh, barricades and warning signs, uh, it's a fine misdemeanor that ranges from $1 to $200. Wow. Uh, the, the one caveat on that is if there are workers uh, present, uh, the fine doubles. Wow. So. so any bearing on whether it's $1 to $200 or does it, does it just depend on what the situation is? Uh, it's what the uh, judges uh, assess. Okay. So uh, it, it could be, it's just that they put a, a set limit on it. Wow. So. All right. So the answer is yes, don't go cross those barriers. Number two. I've seen a lot of people hanging out under bridges around town lately that seem to be homeless. Is it okay for them to be there? And is it illegal for me to give them money? Great question. Well, it is a great question. It's a problem that we have uh, mm -hmm. uh, citywide and also uh, nationwide. It's got the same issue. But yeah, it's, it's against the law for them to solicit uh, uh, while they're standing in the roadway. Okay. And, uh, uh, we'd appreciate it if uh, our folks wouldn't give them money or give them anything. It just kind of makes it worse. And it's, a, it's a tough, controversial uh, position for us, but uh, if they would, uh, our, our good-hearted citizens would not give them money, it would it'd make it a little bit better for us. Now, it is illegal for the good-hearted citizens to give money, but is it illegal for them to be under the bridge? Well, that's another issue. That uh, uh, We're still debating that. Okay. Uh, 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 technically, uh, they, technically they, can, they can be there, but... Uh, we, uh, it, it's just uh, the homeless situation, just a toll, a whole nother uh, topic. And uh, yeah. uh, everybody has to deal with it. And uh, it, we got a tough situation here in Beaumont. Absolutely. Well, we're glad to know that you guys are working on that. And well, we're trying. About it. Yeah. yeah. All right, number three. Do you have any advice for someone thinking <clears throat> about becoming a Beaumont police officer? Well, yes, we do. Uh, we are always uh, trying to uh, uh, find qualified police officers. And mm -hmm. we have a hiring process uh, right now. And uh, It'll be closing in a couple of weeks, but uh, the number to, the number to uh, call there is 880-3812 and ask for one of the uh, recruiting officers. Okay. And uh, we're uh, uh, we're always looking for good uh, good cops. And uh, uh, an another outlet, if you're not really sure about that and you want to find a little bit more, uh, is maybe j uh, join the Citizens Police Academy. Okay. It's something that uh, that uh, that we that we do uh, uh, I think twice a year, and uh, it kind of gives everybody an idea about what, what uh, the cops really do, and it's very very enlightening, education and uh, educational, and uh, entertaining. All right, <laughs> sounds amazing. Well, guys, do not forget to send your questions to 12 News at 12newsnow.com. Our next lunch with the chief will be October 15th.